Well, you know, it was uh, just about five years ago we thought that the delivery of uh, health care, specifically in the orthopedic sector, uh, could be managed differently. And our hope was that if we could demonstrate a more efficient, streamlined method to do this, uh, that this would be a great thing for the community to uh, absorb and, and uh, capitalize on by having uh, happy patients. What's the state of the union here at First Choice Medical Group? We're happy to report last year that we, uh, we acquired by taking over uh, operation control of two other facilities. So besides First Choice with the uh, list of doctors that we have here, we've uh, taken over operation control of the back center, which uh, brought in spine into our area of health care and the delivery. Uh, and then we uh, Crane Creek Surgery Center. Uh, we acquired that in October, a, uh, um, uh, a piece of the surgery center to where now we ultimately hope that with these three units that we've accomplished here uh, this year that we can start to synergize to bring all these doctors, which is about 10 doctors now, with today Dr. Sands being on board that we've introduced uh, 11 doctors. And uh, we can start having a, a great uh, dialogue with these doctors peer to peer with each one being in their own separate uh, area of expertise. And once again, having a delivery system that the patient can capitalize by having all their services performed under one control, you might say, whether it be from the first diagnosis of a problem, whether it be physical therapy, whether it be their diagnostics and MRI, x-ray, uh, their DME, uh, to actually having the surgery performed, um, to actually getting them back to health afterwards as quick as we can. And, and back to service the tennis court or the golf course. So the, uh, the optimum deal here that we see is by having it all under uh, an orthopedic practice in Brevard that's all under one roof of responsibility, we think we can deliver a, a greater product to the patient. How have all the recent changes in the medical industry led to the way you formed this practice and business model? Now, I think in the near future, and it's coming sooner because we're doing it now, that the future in healthcare savings will be uh, global or bundled billing. And this will be a responsibility we believe the payers are going to come in and say, uh, we want to pay this amount for a hip replacement with all the extras, with your MRIs, with your therapy. And, uh, and we think it's going to go to what we call bundled billing. It's occurring in about uh, 15 other states. We know of 30 facilities that are doing this. And then to be able to capture that, that, that income, you have to provide all those services. You can't have, we think, seven companies providing those seven services and then do it in a costly fashion. So we think we're aligning ourselves for what the future will bear. And in Melbourne, uh, this is a great opportunity, we feel, uh, to be our, our, our first unit of service of excellence. And we're looking forward now uh, to start looking into other cities and uh, other states to supply this model. What is your vision for the next five years for First Choice and for people in the community seeking quality health care? In the Brevard model again here where we started, um, we're at uh, 11 uh, doctors now. Maybe it'll grow by a few more. We, uh, at the back center, we're looking to expand with maybe one, definitely one, but maybe two more spine surgeons for the demand, an interventional pain. And then we think we have the spectrum of orthopedics pretty well covered in Brevard. Um, so like I said, a practice between 10 and 12, maybe 14 would be max. We're not looking to control an, an industry or have a maximum amount. We're just looking to have a, a simple market share. Um, ideally, our model will show that we'll do about 4,000 surgeries is what we're estimating that to be per year. So if we can go into a community that's doing 15,000 surgeries, we'd like to be about 4,000 of those. So we now are targeting out into, like I mentioned earlier, other communities in the state now that have eight to 10 uh, orthopedics in a practice that are uh, really disturbed with the complex parts of the business, which is all the back of the house, the ICD-10, the billing, the collection, the reimbursements going down. And by putting eight to 10 doctors together, our scales of economy coming to their community and offering our model will allow the freedom of those doctors to have a better life, while at the same time we can offer a total bundle payment, we think, at a competitive rate.